second topic we're going to cover under module one is board mass. Board mass, under board mass, B stands for brackets off. When we're removing the brackets, we need to start off with the bar bracket, move on to the curve bracket, then the flower or the curly bracket, and end with the square bracket. This is the order you need to follow while removing the brackets. O stands for order or exponents. Now, any variable or number to the power of something or to the order of something is called the order of the exponents. Under your syllabus, order or exponents do not come under board mass, but you need to remember what O stands for. D stands for division. Division sign is represented by this or the slash. Multiply. Multiplication sign is represented by the X or the asterisk or it is said to be represented by the, let, uh, by the word of. A stands for add. Addition sign can be represented only by the plus sign and subtraction sign which is what S stands for can be represented by the negative sign. When you're solving sums under board mass, you need to ensure that you follow this order in order to get your right answer. So you start off by removing the brackets, then by removing the exponents, solving the exponents, then dividing anything that needs to be divided, multiplying the terms, add any terms that have a plus sign attached to it, and then subtract the set terms. Certain rules to remember before solving sums under board mass. The first rule is minus into minus will give you plus. Second one is minus into plus will give you minus. Third one is plus into minus will give you minus. And the fourth one is plus into plus will give you plus. If you notice, same signs when multiplied will give you an addition sign. And opposite signs when multiplied will give you a negative sign. So same signs, positive, negative. These are opposite signs, no matter what order they are in, if opposite signs are multiplied, they will give you a negative sign. And if same signs are multiplied, they will give you a positive sign. Let's move on to solve the sums. Let's move on to understand how to solve a sum using board mass. This is an example of a sum. 7 minus 5 into 2 of 3 plus 19 minus 7 minus 4 divided by 4. So you start with the first thing. The first letter under board mass is B. So you try to eradicate the brackets. So the first bracket you need to remove is the bar bracket. So you solve this first. 7 minus 4 is 3. So when I solve it, I need to rewrite the whole thing as 7 minus 5 into 2 of 3 plus 19 minus 3 divided by 4. Okay? We've only taken out the bar bracket. The next bracket under brackets are curve brackets. So the next step would be to solve whatever is inside the curve bracket. 19 minus 3 is 16. So the next step would be to rewrite the whole equation. 5 into 2 of 3 plus 16 divided by 4. If you notice, I've just removed the brackets and just written the direct answer as 16. You don't need to include the brackets here. The next thing to do, B is over, O isn't there in the sum. The next thing is to do is division. If you notice, only 16 by 4 has a division sign. So you do 16 divided by 4, which is equal to 4. So when I rewrite the next step, it will be 7 minus 5 into 2 of 3 plus 4. Again, I'm repeating, you solve 16 divided by 4 because division is next. So 16 divided by 4 is 4. So I just rewrite this part as 4 in this, in this equation. The next thing to do would be to multiply. If you notice here, this is also multiplication and off is also multiplication. So when I solve 5 into 2 into 3, I get the answer as 30. So when I rewrite the equation again, it will be 7 minus 30 plus 4. Okay? Next thing to do would be to add. If 7 does not have any sign preceding it, it is assumed to be positive. 7 plus 4. So I add it first. So I do 7 plus 4. 7 plus 4 is plus 11 minus 30. 
Next thing to do would be to subtract. Plus 11 minus 30 is minus 19. Therefore, this is your answer. Solving it by any other way, by just mixing division, multiplication, addition and subtraction up would not result in this answer. We're going to try solving a different example. 48 divided by 8 minus 3 into 2. If you notice there are no brackets, there are no orders. So you directly start off with starting with division. So if you notice only division has only 48 and 8. So I solve this first. 48 divided by 8 will give me 6. So the next step would be to write 6 minus 3 into 2. As division is already solved, you move on to multiplication. Multiplication is only 3 into 2, so that is 6 as well. So the next step would be 6 minus 6, which is directly 0. We're going to solve another sum under board mass. This is the 8th sum in the handout. The sum has 5 into 3 minus 5 plus 3 minus 2 minus 2. If you notice, there are two brackets and there's no bar bracket, so you start off by solving the curve bracket. Another important thing to remember is when you're solving anything inside the bracket, you need to utilize board mass as well. So under this, there are only plus signs and minus signs. So you start off by adding because A comes before the S. So when I add it, this becomes 8 plus 8. So when I rewrite the thing, it will be 5 into 3 minus 8 minus 2 minus 2. The next thing would be to just subtract 8 minus 2 because there is no other thing inside the bracket. So this would be 6 but it is plus 6. So when I write 5 into 3 minus, you need to remember that outside the bracket there is a minus sign. So minus into plus 6 will give you minus 6. The rest will be as, as it is. The next thing to do would be to solve the curly bracket. In the curly bracket, you have plus 3 and minus 6. So you directly subtract it and apply S. So plus 3 minus 6 will give you minus 3. So you rewrite it. I can write it as curly bracket or square bracket or whatever. The reason I'm keeping the bracket as it is is because there's a multiplication sign outside and this also has a minus sign attached to it. So I need to be careful. So the next thing to do after you remove the brackets, there's no O, there's no D. So the next thing to do would be to apply M. M is multiply. Minus 3 is multiplied to 5 and not anything else. So, I multiply 5 into minus 3 which is minus 15. Minus 15 and minus 2 will come down as it is. Both of them have a minus sign. So, you just apply addition or subtraction. Subtraction would be minus 15 minus 2 will give you minus 17. Because same signs you add. And the number with the greater, uh, uh, the sign of the greater number would be the sign preceding the answer. So minus 15 minus 2 will give you minus 15, 17. 15 has a minus sign, so 15 will, minus 17 also will have a minus sign preceding it. Mm -hmm.